He's already been the focus of one News 4 investigation. Now a local businessman is in the spotlight again after a new round of complaints from News 4 viewers. Investigative reporter Chris Negus gets all sides of the story and shows you why court documents and judgments won't mean much in this case. I'm not the one lying. He is the one lying. Parveen Marchanda of Sunset Hills doesn't mince words when it comes to this guy, James McMullen. Neither does Sheila Lindner of St. Charles County. Then he just gets nasty, starts calling you names. Something we saw in a text message, like this one to Marchanda calling her a lying Well, we can't say it on our air. It doesn't concern me because it's not true. Both women say McMullen failed to follow through on big home improvement jobs. Marchanda says she paid thousands for basement cabinets that were never ordered. The cabinets were around $7,000. She's also upset about this stamped patio. She says it not only cracked immediately. This started happening actually three days after this was poured. It sloped toward her house where water now pools. I'll have start having water in my basement. The forms weren't even removed. How did this project go? Over in St. Charles County. It didn't go at all. Lindner says she hired McMullen to remodel her kitchen. It was gutted, but she says she had to hire someone else to finish the job. He left a lot of unfinished work. Everything was unfinished. Lindner obtained a court judgment <coughs> for more than five grand. So I called Sir. McMullen. Do you plan to pay that? Uh, well, I can't. I've already filed bankruptcy on it. Federal records show McMullen has three bankruptcies. In 1999, again in 2008, and the most recent, which includes Lindner in 2018. With her basement. McMullen disputes the number and says he's only filed twice. He says these customers aren't representative of most of his jobs, and he admits he has a good reason to stay above board. With my history and the troubles I've had in the past, man, I always try to go above and beyond and take care of this stuff for people. Eight years ago, News 4 investigated McMullen's auto business. Customers complained after they didn't receive titles. We have done nothing wrong. In 2006, McMullen was sentenced to federal prison for money laundering related to a mortgage fraud scheme. But he says that was then, this is now. There's nothing I can do about the past. But the past is why these women are challenging his credibility now. He keeps promising me, oh, it's going to be done, it's going to be done. And here I was after a year, nothing was done. I don't want this hanging over my head. I don't do business this way. I mean, you're talking about two people, but because, like you said, because of my history, that it paints me out to be a bad person. But at the same time, if you'd like, I could have probably no less than 150 people email you later on tonight and, and bog down your, your email address with good reviews about me. McMullen blames part of the issue on a back injury. He says he fell off a deck. I did her patio that screwed up over there. She, I'm sure she told you about the patio. I was in a walker when that was done. I was actually down there. They, many times my workers had to carry me down there to the back around of her house to do work because I was trying to keep there so she wouldn't be upset for me not showing up. So can you admit these jobs did not go as well as they could have? Absolutely, absolutely, Chris. But here's the thing, like I said, there, there, there are things will come on delays, you know, and jobs do get delayed. But I've never once said, hey, screw you, I'm not paying you. McMullen claims he lost money on these deals and even offered labor for free. And although he's not offering resolution for Lindner, he is willing to pay Parveen, even though he feels like he's actually owed on the deal. So you do owe them money? I mean... Put it, put it this way, I offered to pay them money, yes. I, I honestly don't feel that I owe them money because like I said, if you look at the money that they owed me, then how could I possibly owe them money? Parveen has now hired an attorney. McMullen says he wants her to sign off on a repayment plan. He also says he's no longer doing residential construction. Also, if you have a judgment against someone and they file bankruptcy, you can challenge it in front of the bankruptcy trustee, but it must be done before the bankruptcy is completed. Chris Nagus, News 4 investigates.